Welcome to STB exam forum. We have come up with the new videos for those candidates who are preparing for ISRO assistant, junior assistant and UDC. Okay. So in the last session, uh, we have seen the static GK on ISRO. And uh, if you have not watched that video, you can have a look on that video. It might be helpful for your exam preparation. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's see what is the today agenda. So in today's session, uh, we are going to see ISRO current affairs. Okay. Starting from 2022 onwards. Okay. And we will also see few recent international space related affairs. Okay. That we will also try to cover. So I request all the students uh, who are watching this online to take uh, their pen and notebook and note this important pointer. As there was a study that if you write, uh, you will remember the things for many days. Okay. So I request all the students to take pen and notebook with them and uh, just note it down what we are uh, conveying to you. Okay. So let's begin this session but before proceeding i have missed few of the important pointers related to static gk that i am telling you in this video so we have missed a uh, few of the static gk points okay the first point that i have missed is the vyom mitra okay vyom mitra do do you know what is vyom mitra yeah it is a humanoid okay humanoid means it is a robot which resembles to the human which is made by isro why they have made this robot to send in gaganyaan mission okay this is made for this is made for gaganyaan mission okay as I told you, Gaganyaan is one of the ambitious mission of India, especially to ISRO. Okay. So Vyom Mitra, if they ask what is Vyom Mitra with reference to ISRO, you should tell it is a humanoid. It is a robot. Humanoid means robot which has similar features to the human. Okay. The second important pointer that I have missed is in year 2017 there is a certain big achievement uh, from ISRO point of view what is that achievement that India makes India makes a record okay it India made a record of what of launching remember student 104 satellites okay so nobody in the world had uh, done this okay india makes a record of launching 104 satellite in a single flight okay in a single launch or in in a single flight okay and you should remember the count 104 satellite and the second uh, thing you should know it is launch with the satellite launch vehicle called PSLV polar satellite launch vehicle C37 remember students C37 you should know okay but uh, as you know records are meant to be broken and uh, Alan Musk you must have heard his name Alan Musk SpaceX has broken uh, this record SpaceX broke this record by launching 143 satellite okay 143 satellite uh, he has launched in a single flight and broke the india's record okay so from exam point of view you should remember 104 satellite it is launched with pslv c37 and spacex broke this record okay so these are the two important static gk pointer that i have not covered but now I have covered so you can write it down or you can take a screenshot of this. Okay. 
coming to the current affairs coming to the current affairs that as i already told you that i will start from year 2020-2022 and uh, with reference to only isro i am going to tell you okay and this is national or you can say it is related to national or isro okay so the first current affair that i would like to tell you is october 2022 okay so on october 2022 isro has launched 36 satellites okay 36 satellites of one company called oneweb okay it is called oneweb mission okay oneweb company so one web company is bharti airtel backed company okay so uh, it has launched its 36 satellite okay this is a company name one web okay it is backed by bharti airtel okay bharti's airtel so these are communication satellite basically uh, so on october 2022 it has launched 36 satellite of this particular company okay and it has generated a lot of revenue from that okay the next event uh, which is very very important from the exam point of view you should know it is november 2022 what event has happened in this particular date india's first private rocket can you name it india's first private rocket was launched successfully and its name is yes you are right it's vikram s okay vikram s and it is uh, made by one private company called skyroot you need to remember skyroot okay skyroot is the company name okay so india's first private rocket name is vikram s and it is uh, made by one private company skyroot okay the next important event that had happened in february 2023 in 2023 uh, there is one mission called eos7 us earth observatory Se satellite 7 okay so along with earth observatory satellite isro has launched two more satellites why they are important i will tell you first one is azadi sat you must have heard this name azadi sat and it is made by 750 girls these satellites have been made by 750 girls in association with one company called space kids space kids india okay it is in chennai it is in chennai so azadi sat is a name of satellite uh, that have been launched uh, by isro which have been made by 750 girls okay and the other satellite that was launched was janus 1 it is made uh, by antris antris or antris us okay usa so this is february 2023 event let's go to the next uh, important pointer so the next important pointer is point number 4 and it happened in april 2023 what is that india has launched two more commercial satellite of other countries and uh, the name of those satellite are tel us okay tel us 02 and second one is lumelite okay lumelite okay these satellites are made by singapore sorry singapore okay so india has a uh, launch singapore satellite and what are the na these name tel us 02 and lumelite okay let's see the next event uh, it 
is two months back it is in may 2023 and uh, it is very important from indian perspective india had launch satellite nvs01 okay it is basically sorry it is basically navigation satellite navigation satellite for irnss that i told you na indian regional navigation satellite system also called navic it will improve the positioning system okay so nvs01 satellite was launched after that one major important event has held in india on 14 july sorry sorry for disturbance so so one event held on 14 july 2023 can you name it it is very easy yes it's chandrayaan 3 mission okay chandrayaan 3 mission was launched okay student you need to remember this date okay chandrayaan 1 launch date chandrayaan 2 launch date and chandrayaan 3 launch date okay which i already covered in the static gk portion okay but this uh, is from the current affair point of view 14 july 2023 chandrayaan 3 mission was launched okay so student uh, these are uh, is related national events now the next important points is we will see international space affairs okay international space affairs these are also important uh, with ref reference to international events okay the first one is that nasa national aeronautic space administration will retire international space station international space station by 2031 okay so they can ask when will is uh, nasa retire international space station so answer should be 2031 and one more thing is that russia because of that ukraine war uh, has left this international space station okay and it is basically a collaboration but india left uh, sorry russia left that international space collaboration okay international space station so they can ask which country has left international space station so your answer should be russia the next uh, international event is with reference to india that you have heard mission mangal that is mars orbital mission okay that is mom okay that ran out of fuel after how many years after 8 years okay the third pointer related to international space affair is jupiter beats saturn saturn is a planet jupiter planet beats the saturn planet with most number of moons most number of moons as you now till now saturn has maximum number of moons that is 83 but now few more moons uh, have been discovered so jupiter is now become uh, the planet with most number of moon and jupiter has 92 moons with it okay so jupiter beats saturn with most number of moons okay the next important pointer is with european space agency esa european space agency they have launched a mission called juice okay what is this juice mission okay juice mission is jupiter ic explorer so it it basically explore 
three moons of Jupiter. As you know, it is Europa, Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede. These are three major big moon. Okay, so it will explore uh, these three moons. Okay. so juice mission you should know it is launched by european space agency not by nasa okay european space agency so uh, you can take screenshot of this let's see the next pointer the next important pointer which is very important as you know nasa is doing a lot of work for sending astronaut to the moon okay so nasa will send four astronauts four astronauts okay for moon mission what is their moon mission name like our moon mission name is chandrayaan their moon mission name is what artemis okay art Artemis. Okay, so they can ask how many astronaut they will send. Four astronaut for what mission? Artemis moon mission. And the important thing is the name, Christina Koch. You should remember, Christina Koch. So she is a woman, and she will become the first woman. to go for the moon mission okay the second important uh, name is victor grover okay because he is black okay so these uh, two personalities are in news recently why because christina coach is a single woman out of these four astronaut which will be sent to the moon by nasa for artemis mission okay and the next important pointer is related to your favorite elon musk okay so recently elon musk try to launch world heaviest rocket and it got failed what is its name its name is starship you need to remember starship okay so elon musk world heaviest rocket failed its name is starship okay so that's it student so we have covered uh, six important pointers related to international space affairs and six important pointers related to our national events uh with reference to isro okay so uh we are done with today session okay so these are our other videos so we have solved previous year for year 2010 2012 2014 and 2016 okay and we have also uh, told you the important topics for each of the section important topics and we have also made a video for static gk okay and all this uh, you can find in our playlist let's solve pyq or mission isro 2023 mission isro 2023 okay so thanks a lot for watching and if you love this video you can hit a like button and share it with your friends and if you want us to prepare more topics you can tell us uh, we will try to make those topic as well okay so thank you for watching have a nice day